seem so chill. For me? Yeah. <laughs> We've been through this before. Yeah, I mean, yeah, congrats on getting to the division series. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's a grind everywhere you go. I mean, it's just, I always preach to these guys, you know, you gotta control your emotions. That's yeah. it. Just control the emotions. The moment and the adrenaline and all the fans are gonna take care of itself, they're gonna bring you up. You gotta worry about bringing yourself back down, you know, because that's how you're gonna be able to think in those situations. What you were just saying about. Let the PM. What you were saying about they've played in this market their whole career, apparently they can handle pressure, that sounds different than what you were saying on Monday or so about you have to do a better job or you have to learn how to handle the pressure of this time of year. Has this team showed you something in the last several days? I'm confused. I'm sorry. A couple <laughs> days ago. <laughs> I don't remember saying this. A couple days ago you said a team or a given player in this time of year has to learn how to handle this type of pressure. No, I mean, to me, what I was thinking I was saying was not handle the pressure, it's control your emotions. Right, that, that's what I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's just, you got to control the emotions in these situations. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, if you're playing in these crazy environments, it's easy for your adrenaline to take over, and all of a sudden you can't think, and you, know, you can't control your thoughts. You know? So it's, I think, you know, I preach them all the time, it's the players that can know how to turn that off slow the game down are the ones that do good in those situations. Katie, so, could you sense as the game was getting later, it was getting more dire, that what you were preaching was happening? Could you sense that everybody was keeping it? No, I felt like everyone did a great job. I mean, you got to tip your hat to the pitchers. They did an unbelievable job. You know, they pitched really well. I mean, they threw a lot of tough guys out there. And, you know, uh, we got ourselves in a situation, Frankie worked the walk, and, you know, walks are like hits in this series, you know, they just start rallies and they spark, you know, rallies like that, so, you know, and then Brandon went up there, put a good swing on a pitch, and, you know, changed it down the way, stayed through it, and gave us a chance, that's it, that's all you want to do in those situations, is give yourself a chance, have somebody come up in those situations where it's one swing can tie it, you know, or put us ahead. I don't know if you've been asked this already, but just as someone who's been in the league a long time, you've been on teams that are successful, teams that aren't. Is there anything that you can pinpoint about this group that lends itself to these types of moments and these types of or this type of resilience throughout the season? I don't know. There's nothing. You can never pinpoint one thing or anything like that. It's just it comes from within. It comes from everyone's, you know, everyone's road in their career to get to this point. Um, I know for me it comes from you know adversity that I had to overcome throughout my career and you know minors and stuff like that that built inside of me. You know, everyone's got a story and to get to this point and to get to these spots in your career, you gotta go through adversity and you gotta go through toughness and guys that can get through that and come out mentally stronger are the reason they're here. How's your playoff today? Good. How's yours? <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more fun, huh? Cover, cover the Mets for seven years. <laughs> yeah. It's once you do this, you're like, wow, regular baseball is just boring. <laughs> like, you just, you just care about the playoffs. <laughs> like, we just fast forward to September and get into the playoffs, like, let's do this. Because it's just different. I mean, you see it. It's a different atmosphere. Yeah. You're not going to get this on a midweek Wednesday, you know, against a team. You're not. So, this is fun. This is energetic. I mean, you wish you could play like this every night. You say that, but how important was the journey to get here, whether it was you know, falling behind, so 11 games under 500. Yeah, I mean, to that's... the Monday doubleheader, kind of learning what that, that crunch time was like. Yeah, I mean, you know, us falling behind and stuff like that is kind of just, I think what it did was just take off the pressure. I think these guys came into this year, I guess, with the expectations of last year that, you know, we got to be up there competing with Philly and Atlanta and all that and putting that pressure. And then when it didn't go good, you start reading the articles. Because you guys, you know, you guys write great articles all the time. Thank you. And, you know, so we all got to read the positive stuff you write. And we just kind of, so it's one of those things, you just got to control it. Just dissing yourself. You know what? They say we suck, we suck. Let's suck. Let's go suck together. Let's go have fun sucking. You know, and let's enjoy it. And that's kind of thing what we did. I think we did that as a team. And everyone just kind of rivaled around that. It's like, hey, no pressure. These guys, who had the pressure? Did anyone? You look at all MLB's analytics. 
I don't think, uh, what's his name? Rooker, Anthony Rooker, or whatever. Fred Rooker. Rooker. Or the guy on uh, MLB Network had us getting swept in Atlanta and they're not even making it in his racket. <laughs> Former right? Matt. Yeah, and Rooker. no one had us in there. Oh, Rooker. Rooker, there you go. You know, like, none of MOBs pulled, none of, no one had us beating the Brewers. You know, so it's like, what's the pressure? They got the pressure to win, not us. Let's just go out there and enjoy it. How do you stay calm? Like, how do you stay calm in these moments? Like, in a zip zip game, or even when Alonzo hits that home run, like, how do you do it? I mean, it's just, I think it's just that. It's like, who cares? Like, if you get out, you know, who cares? Like, does the world end? Is the sun coming up tomorrow? You know, is everyone still healthy? Like, everything's fine. Like, just enjoy the moment. Like, slow it down. And if you do it, you do it. If you don't, the next guy comes up. If they don't do it, then that's it. You know, it's just. That's just kind of how you have to have it. Mm -hmm. Because if you go up there and you're trying and you want to do it, you never, you never get it done. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wants to try. It's not that no one's not trying up there. Yeah. You know, it's just you have to control. You got to slow your brain down. You got to think.